All right, this is how you find out the principal for u. Okay, this is how you find out the principal square root of a. All right, this is how you find out the principal for u. Okay, this is how you find out the principal square root of a complex number. Here we go. We have the square root of 5 plus 12i. For first off, I'm just going to rewrite it. We still have the 5 and then plus, but I want to have 2 times whatever. So I want to write it as 2 times 6, right? And then the square root of 1. Okay, this is how we find out the principal value. Okay, this is how we find out the square root. Okay, this is how we find out the principal square root of a complex number. We have the square root of 5 plus 12i. First off, we are going to rewrite this and it becomes a nasty square root. So this becomes the square root and we have the 5 and this is still a plus, but we want to have a 2. So I will put down a 2 and 2 times 6 will be 12. And we know i is the same as square root of 1. So we put down square root of Okay, this is how we find out the principal square root of a complex number. Here we have the square root of 5 plus 12i. We want to write it as a nested square root because we know i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So have a look. This is the same as square root and we have the 5 plus, but we also want to have a 2. So right here we will look at this as 2 times 6, which will give us the 12. And then the i, it's the same as square root of negative 1, right? Okay, this is how we find out the principal square root of a complex number. Here we have the square root of 5 plus. Okay, this is how we find out the principal square root of a complex number. Here we have the square root of 5 plus 12i. And we first want to rewrite it so that it becomes the... Okay, we want to find out the principal square root of a complex number. Okay, this is how you can find out the principal square root of a complex number. Okay, this is how you can find out the principal square root of... Okay, this is how you can possibly find out... Okay, this is how you can find out the principal value. Okay, this is how we can find out the positive... Okay, this is how we can find out the principal square root of a complex number. Here we have the square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we want to write this as a nested square root because we know i is the same as square root of negative 1. So let's get to work. Alright, this is how we can possibly... Okay, this is how we can find out the... Okay, this is how we can find out the principal square root of a complex number. Here we have the square root of 5 plus 12i. The first thing is we are going to write this into the form that we want as a nested square root. Have a look. This is the same as saying square root of 5 plus, we need to see a 2 right here. So we break down 12 as 2 times 6. And then the i is the same as square root of negative 1. So let's go ahead and write that down for the i. And now I'm going to bring the 6 inside of this square root. And you know 6 is the same as square root of 36. So when we multiply it in, it becomes 36, right? Okay, this is how we find out the square. Okay, this is how we can find out the principal value. Okay, this is how we can find out the principal square root of a complex number. Here we have the square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we want to write this as the nested square root. Have a look. This is the same as the square root of 5 plus, we want to see a 2 right here. So we will break down the 12 as 2 times 6. And then the i, we know that's the same as square root of negative 1. So we are going to write that down. And then we are going to bring the 6 inside of this square root. And we know that's the same as... Okay, this is how we can find out the principal square root of a complex number. Here we have the square root of 5 plus 12i. This is how we do it. We first rewrite it into a nested square root that we want. This is the same as the square root and we have the 5 plus and we want to see a 2. Okay, this is how we find out the principal square root of a complex number. This is square root of 
Okay, this is how we find out the principal square root of a complex number. Here we have the square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we are going to write this into a nested square root that we want. You see, this is actually the same as the square root, and we have the 5 plus, but we want to see a 2 right here, so we break down the 12 as 2 times 6. And we know i is the same as square root of negative 1. And then I'm going to bring the 6 inside of this square root. And we know 6 is the same as square root of 36. So this becomes the square root of 5 plus 2. And this is the same as square root of negative 36 times 1, like this. And now we are going to open two square roots right here. And this is a plus, so just put that down right here. And we have to think about two numbers, they multiply to be 5 and then they add up to be negative 36. And the answer is going to be 4 and... <laughs> 9 and negative 4. This is too Alright, we will see how to find the square... Okay, we are going to find the... Okay, we are going to find the principal square root of a complex... Okay, we are going to find the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. So this is what we have. First off, we are going to rewrite this into a nested square root. Okay, we are going to find out the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. And first, we are going to rewrite this into a nested square root. So we still have this square root and we have the 5, but we are... Okay, we are going to find out the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we are going to rewrite this into a nested square root. So we still have this square root, and then we have 5 plus, but we want to see a 2, so we will break down the 12 as 2 times 6. And we know i is the same as square root of negative 1. So let's go ahead and put that down. And then we have to bring the 6 inside of this square root, and we know 6 is the same as square root of 36. So all we have here now is just a square root, 5 plus 2, times the square root of negative 36. Now we are going to open two square roots and put down the plus in between and think about two numbers. They add out to be 5 but they multiply to be negative 36. And the correct combination is 9 and negative 4. But we know square root of 9 is the same as 3 and square root of negative 4 is the same as minus 2i plus 2. Ah! Okay, we are going to find out the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. And first, we have to write this into a nested square root. So we see this is actually the same as square root. We have the 5 plus, but we actually need to have the 2 right here. So we break down the 12 as 2 times 6. And then we know i is the same as square root of negative 1. So let's go ahead and put that down right here. And then we are going to put a 6 inside of the square root. And we know 6 is the same as square root of 36. So here we have the square root of 5 plus 2 times the square root of negative, and then 36 times 1, right here, right? And then we are going to open two square roots with the plus in between, and then think about two numbers, they add out to be 5, and they multiply to be negative 36. And the correct combination is 9 and negative 4, but we know square root of 9 is the same as 3, and the square root of negative 4 is the same as 2i and then we are done like this all right here we will see how to find the principal square root of 5 plus 12i first we are going to rewrite this into a nasty square root so we still have the square root of 5 and then we have the plus but we want to have a 2 right here so we break down the 12 as 2 times 6 and we know i is the same as square root of negative 1 and then we are going to put the 6 inside of this square root, and we know 6 is the same as square root of 36. So all we have now is the square root of 5 plus 2 times the square root of negative 36. And then we are going to open two square roots with the plus in between, and then we have to think about two numbers. They add up to be 5, and they multiply to be negative 36. <laughs> 
Here we are going to see how to find the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we are going to write this into a nested square root. So we have the square root and we have 5 plus, but we need to have a 2 right here. So we have to... Alright, here we are going to see how to find the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we are going to write this and we still have the square root on the outside. Alright, here we are going to find the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we have to write this. So we are going to have square root and we still have the 5 and then plus. And we actually have to have a 2 right here. So we are going to break down the 12 as 2 times 6. And we know i is the same as square root of negative 1. So let's go ahead and put that down. And then we have to bring the 6 inside of this square root. So it becomes 36 inside. So this becomes square root. Okay, here we are going to see how to find the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we have to write this into a nested square root. So we still have the square root on the outside, 5 plus and the 2 of the... Alright, here we are going to find the square root. Okay, here we are going to find out the perfect square root. Okay, here we're going to find out the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we have to write this, and we actually still have the square root on our side. Here we are going to find out the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we are going to write this into the following form, into the following nested square root form. Here we are going to find out the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we are going to rewrite this as a following as a nested square root. Here we are going to find out the Here we are going to find out the principal square root. Here we are going to find out the principal square root of the complex number 5 plus 12i. First, we are going to rewrite this as the following the following. Here we are going to find out the principal square root of the following. Here we are going to find out the principal square root of this complex number 5 plus 12i. We actually have to write this into the following. Here we are going to find out the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. We first have to rewrite this as the square root, and we have 5 plus, but we actually have to have a 2 right here, so we break down 12 as 2 times 6. And we know i is the same as square root of negative 1. And then we have to bring the 6 inside of this square root, and you see it becomes square root of 5 plus 2 times the square root of negative 6 inside the same as 36, right? And then we have to go ahead and open. Ah! Here we are going to find out this. Here we are going to find out the principal square root of. Here we are going to find out the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we are going to rewrite this as the following. We still have the square root of 5 plus, but of 12, we are going to look at this as 2 times 6. Here we are going to find out the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we have to write this, and we actually have the square root of 5, and then we have still have the plus. But for the 12, we have to look at that as 2, and we know 2 times 6 will be 12. And then we also know i is the same as square root of negative 1, so go ahead and put that down. And then we have to bring the 6 inside of the square root, and we get square root of 5 plus 2 times the square root of negative 36. And then we are going to just open two square roots with the plus in between. And then think about two numbers, they multiply to be swallowed. Here we are going to find out the principal square. 
Here we are going to find out the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we have to write this as the square root, and we still have the 5 and then the plus. But for the 12, we have to look at that as 2, and we know 2 times 6 gives us the 12. Here we are going to find out the principal. Here we are going to find the principal square root of 5 plus 12i. First, we have to write this. We still have the square root of 5 and then the plus, but we actually have to have a 2 right here. So that's going to put down 2, and we know 2 times 6 will give us the 12. And we also know i is the same as square root of negative 1. And then we have to bring the 6 inside of this square root, and we know 6 is the same as square root of 36. So here we have square root of 5 plus 2 square root of negative 36. And now we have to open two square roots with the plus in between. And then think about two numbers. They add up to be 5 and they multiply to be negative 36. And the combination is 9 and negative 4. But we know square root of 9 is the same as 3 and square root of negative 4 is the same as 2i. So, we are done.